Here, Makeup right. done, hair done, one stop shop. Hair do it all, y'all. It's a place to be sweet. Period. Okay. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Hair Queen TV. I'm your host, Zoe, and I'm with my co host, B. Hi. And today we have a very, very special guest. We have multi entrepreneur, Queen P, here with us. Hey, guys. Good to see you. Yes. It's such an honor to be with you today, too. Yes, we did want you to do a little introduction, let the people know who you are. Well, my name is Pilar. I'm originally from Peru, mm -hmm. South American, and I came here when I was 14 years old. Came right to North Hollywood. I wanted to go to Caltech, and I was on my way there until I found I was pregnant. And then my success with Princess Peach really boomed. I quit college, I just dropped out. And from then is what we have now. Okay. Yes. Sister, and get into the Princess P jewelry. Okay, she's right. wearing it right now. It's literally gorgeous. And she's iced out. Like okay. we're gonna put all her businesses up on the page. But oh, yes. Yeah. So let's get <laughs> let's get right into the interview though. Before we start, I definitely want to ask y'all to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. And let's get into it. So our first segment, we're gonna throw a little shade. Um, and that's basically <laughs> where we get some topics off of the shade room and kind of get your opinion on them. Okay. Um, so the first throwing shade moment is that pretty iconic the city girls and Nicki Minaj have finally made up after their beef for a couple months I'm pretty sure it's been a couple months if yeah. not a year like they've been beefing for a while so how are you feeling about them making she up? Took a she said, oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm all for love I'm all for reconciliation I'm all for coming together and growing better and being in a better place That's like me. having beef with people Unless there was like, with me, it's like physical altercations that's not forgivable just because mm. you didn't respect my body, my presence. Mm. And then from there we just part ways and it's all right, well, we're never going to speak again. But if it's like all verbal and then it's just kind of like we're in the same alignment mm. and now we're coming together in the same alignment, you know, people become aligned. Um, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm, I feel like peace is a great place to be in and it's a mental state, so I'm happy they're cool now. I love okay, that. Yes, yeah. so I'm off for the girls supporting the girls. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love love. The next Thorn Shade moment is, we're gonna keep it light, we're gonna keep it light. Um, Kanye, at a birthday party, ended up buying Julia Fox and all of her friends. Birkins. Birkins. She saw and it. I think that is <laughs> crazy. So how do you feel about it? Oh my God. Because <laughs> <laughs> I literally just posted about this. Really? <laughs> I think it's 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 like my friends say like we need friends like Kanye, you know. But I think it's just dope. Yeah, that's the word. Like if I'm winning, all your friends are winning. And that's really what it says, you know. It's like if if he's doing for pub or whatever his intentions are, the girls is winning. Girl. Right. Oh, Somebody's gonna win. No, I, I wish I was one of them. Right. <laughs> and speaking of, it's so funny because I'm into website parking, and one of my websites is shewantabirkin.com. I don't know how I landed on that, but I, she sure did. <laughs> <laughs> And I got an Instagram, so what I was thinking about doing is like a lottery website for it. Ooh. So eventually it's like the average girl may have a chance to win a Birkin, mm -hmm. you know? Who doesn't want a Birkin? So she won a Birkin is me at Okay, okay. y'all already heard it here first. If you're trying to win a Birkin, come come mess with P, okay? okay? Because she's doing it, and I love it. That's actually so cute. So right, I cannot wait to get into that. For but, real. Yeah. And as you guys can even hear right now, she's you're so creative as it comes mm -hmm. to like entrepreneurship. It seems like you just have like a natural knack for it. You obviously have what you told us eight businesses um, in your name. So what was your first business venture? So I feel like for any any person that wants to start something, it starts with getting your platform and I gained my platform through modeling mm. I was the first fashion of a model the first influencer I actually helped fashion of so much with like their startup business because I was doing my own marketing for it mm. so once I gained my following through that I was like all right what's trending next beauty I was I make a model I did stuff with Scott Barnes with mm. JLo's makeup yeah. I was his model for a uh, seminar that he was doing. I was putting my feet like, in everything. Anything yeah. I, I was I was in a music video with 50 Cent. I even did 
I did do um, vines back in. Oh, oh yeah, you were vines. Vine. Vine. That, that, that was a good, good time. time. That was a great, was a great time. era. For those that are out there that are interested in entrepreneurship or just really just like the average person, there's such a fear when it comes to beginning anything. Mm -hmm. Um, how did you get over like your fear of like beginning? Because now you have so many of these different businesses and you just shared your tactics. How do you get over that anxiety? No wanting to fail. Mm -hmm. And I have a little one. Mm -hmm. I actually mm -hmm. have I actually have five. Yeah. You know? It's like my current relationship has four. Yeah. And so you start thinking of like the bigger picture, like mm -hmm. family, you know? Right. So it's like I want to make sure that everyone is taken care of. Mm -hmm. And that's really about getting up and going and for who, for whoever is under your wing. And that's your kids and that's your family. And if you don't have kids, it's your mother, you mm -hmm. know? Like, it's always a reason bigger than you. Right. Mm -hmm. I love that. I do, I do. What has been the most fun for you to make in terms of like all of your business? Like what's your <laughs> one business you're like, oh my God, this was so much fun. I'm having a great time. You look back and you start asking yourself, like if I would ask my 17 year old, like, will you be a cannabis connoisseur? I would have said hell no because I wasn't even smoking then. The funnest one has been cannabis. Mm. It really has been. Like I, I enjoy it. I love how it makes me feel. Like I get the the stress relief, and it just the branding of it has been also amazing. Like being a woman and being in the business has been tough. Everyone around me is like males, you know and. I'm the first woman strain for the for jokes up, which is my distro, mm -hmm. and they have been so supportive. Like when we have pop ups, like Princess Cut is here, and like it's just being a pioneer in the industry is kind of right. like this is dope. I'm the number one strain at the cookie store right now. Oh, oh wow! wow. Congrats! That's so That's exciting. Dope. Now we have um, Princess Cut, which is my strain. Crazy. That's the name of it, and I went with the same logo. Yeah, mm -hmm. like the doll face that I had in same 2011 mm -hmm. is here in 2021. Yeah, you know, not only that she has a little smoke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so cute. So cute. I'm actually dropping uh, ice cream, which is uh, uh, at, at the dispensary in my city, like yeah. Studio City, on Ventura. So, so that's dope, and I just feel like cannabis is really like being fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not so much work, you just enjoy doing it, so you just don't even feel like you're doing it. Yeah, you know? for sure. It's so exciting. Well, I'm so happy for you and opening up all your different shops and being a mm -hmm. and everything like that. It's such a dope experience. So, so glad crazy. that you are able to be the face of it. Mm -hmm. like, that's beautiful. And then before we finish this segment, I do want to see if there is one word of advice for anybody that you wants to be an entrepreneur and kind of wants to be in your shoes. Yeah. And offer them one. Whether you have five or ten people that you're selling stuff to, if you are like selling e-commerce, if you're selling merch, make sure they're all happy. No, but 100%. That's you gotta so, keep your clients good. happy, they mm -hmm. wanna keep coming back. Okay, right. you know? Period. We're happy to have you here. No, no happy. I was about to say, get okay. into her hair. Right? <laughs> <laughs> her hair is looking right. so good. So that means so. that you're coming back, right? The girls love it. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. she's coming back here in Queen LA, okay? <laughs> Effortless. And my makeup too, she didn't right. right here. Makeup right, makeup done, hair done, one stop shop. You do it all, y'all. It's a place to be sweetie. Period. Okay, no, that's right. You heard it from Queen P. Queen P herself. Boss, okay. We definitely want to get into our third segment too. A little fun, little razzle dazzle. So it's our truth or drink. So basically, <laughs> we'll present a topic or a question to you, and you can either tell the truth or you can take a little sip if you like. Mm -hmm. Not okay, gonna say okay. nothing, okay? All right. So the first one is going to be most you've done for someone who isn't your man. Nothing. Not a damn thing. <laughs> The most you've done. The she most said done. absolutely not. You know, my if you're not, not my man, this is the thing. Oh. Like, I feel like I win in business because my mind is very, my male energy is high. Mm. Like my, I feel like my testosterone levels are so high. Like if, if a bitch ain't doing nothing for me, I'm not moving. Okay. Like it's the same thing I think about a man. And it's like if a man, I'm not, like you have to be in the same right alignment in the same mental contributing for me to mm -hmm. even want to do something right okay next one is going to be does size matter and does money matter when they think does size matter very much <laughs> <laughs> very much 
I, I don't, I'm gonna, I, I don't lie. Yeah. It's not the motion in the Right, motion. she said no need to drink, I'll tell the truth. Does money matter? Important question. Would I be with someone that doesn't have money is what you're saying? Essentially, like, would, would somebody not having money prevent you from wanting to do them? Yes. Period. Truth. Okay. Truth. Truth. And that's fair. Somebody I heard said that they don't want a son, basically. Like, that was, like, their defense for it. It's like, Jesus. you want to be with a man. You don't want another, like, responsibility. Yeah. Because a man doesn't have money. You know, I, I read this, and I kind of want to read it back to you because it's so true. The quote is about you are evolving as a person, correct? Mm -hmm. You end up with the person that is evolved as much as you mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. So being comfortable in a place where you are not financially okay. Or We're not evolved to the same place. Right, basically. No. <laughs> if I didn't have anything going on and my partner didn't either, then we can both struggle together. Right. You know? Yeah. Last one is going to be your most embarrassing sex story. Oh, you drink it? <laughs> <laughs> we got it, y'all. Right. Okay, oh, we need at least one sip. Not in. today. Okay. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Well, I love it. I'm on that note. Sexual. We keep it in the books. Okay. okay. She cheers. said it's in the sheets. Not <laughs> bad. Okay. Okay. But yes. <laughs> well, on that note, we're about to end our segment today. Yes. We want to thank Queen P for coming thank in. Thank you so much. She's such mm -hmm. a boss, yes. and y'all definitely have to follow her on all of her social medias and on all of her business pages. So, yeah. Big shout out to you. Thank I you for coming guys. today. Yes. Get into her hair once more. Right. Time, it's, it's, it's giving. Okay. She's Everything doing what it needs Oops. to. Hoops. Neon pants to go. Okay, get in the jewelry, get in the necklace. Yes, yeah. So, this is a collection that I'm actually going to name this Hair Queen LA. <gasps> I was like, I absolutely love that necklace. So literally honor, literally honor that, honored, literally honored that you would even set. name it after us yeah. because I'm obsessed with it. You're gonna catch us rocking it on the next video. Right, trust me, real. I'm going to buy it tonight. Right. Okay. But yes, Hair Queen LA. Okay. Yeah. Okay. From my site, princesspeedjewelry.com. Hit it. Hit okay. it. Okay, yes. Well, thank her. you guys for tuning I in. Love we love you guys, and we'll see you guys in our next see one. Ya. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see Bye. you guys. Bye.